Hi Internet, I'm Tango and these are Tango's Takes. And the take for today, November 11th, 2021, Veterans Day. Now it's only Veterans Day here in the US. Elsewhere in the world, it's known as both Armistice Day and Remembrance Day. And it was originally referred to as Armistice Day here in the US. And this was a day where we recognized on the 11th day of the 11th hour, blah, blah, blah. sorry, let's try that since the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the formal ending of World War One. Here in the US, over time, that day of remembrance for World War I evolved into a day of recognition for everyone who has honorably served in the US Armed Forces. Whereas Memorial Day is a recognition of those who died in service, Veterans Day is about all those who have served, living and dead. There's also an Armed Forces Day in May, but it's not as widely recognized, and that is specifically to recognize those who currently serve. Veterans Day in the U.S. is an unusual holiday in that it will always fall on November 11th, though it is sometimes celebrated on the 12th or the 10th if the 11th falls on a Saturday or Sunday. Also, it is a bit unusual in that while federal government and federal government adjacent jobs, such as the U.S. Postal Service, which should really be part of the U.S. federal government, don't get me started, are closed, most other businesses are open and operating on normal hours. So, it's a very bizarre experience if you're living in an area without a significant federal government presence because nothing changes. But today, today we recognize all those who served honorably. My father was a Marine. His father was in the Army Air Corps. My stepfather was a Marine. His mother, father, sister, and brother-in-law, all Marines. My grandfather on my mother's side was in the army. I worked for the Marine Corps Recruiting Command, and even before then, I had a lot of friends who were members of the various U.S. Armed Services. And, wait for it, my husband used to be in the Air Force. Today is a day to recognize the people who are willing to put their lives on the line to make the world a better place doesn't always work out the way anybody expects, and the definition of a better place is sometimes a little bit iffy. Thank you, U.S. government. But, in most cases, the individuals went out to do the right thing, and that is worth recognition. Stay safe and healthy out there, folks, and I'll see you all next time.